Look, first off, all the credit goes to our wonderful elected officials who've led with a zeal that we haven't seen in many other states, frankly. Uh, this idea that we need to use the power we have when we have it to make the biggest difference we can for as many people. And as you mentioned, of course, that's with slim majorities. But there's a certain urgency of now in Minnesota to, as I said, use the power we have. We don't know. Power is fleeting, of course. We don't know when we'll have it again. And we want to make the biggest difference we can. Uh, and, you know, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, Minnesotans and Americans, Americans want a government that's going to work for them and deliver results, and that's clearly what's happened here in Minnesota. You know, I think when a lot of folks think of Minnesota, uh, they they think of uh, names like Humphrey and Mondale, and they think of Wellstone. Uh, they think of these liberal lions over the years, uh, but it's actually been a, a swing state, closer than many folks think. Um, what, if anything, could Democrats nationwide take from your state party's approach heading into 2024? Well, I think you have to be bold. And again, I think what most Americans are looking for is people are going to stand up and uh, deliver on the promises that they made during the campaign. You know, too often than not, people get disappointed and cynical about politics because uh, politicians on both sides, frankly, uh, get elected to office and then they forgot why they ran for office in the first place. Uh, again, you know, I, I'm really proud of our elected officials here in Minnesota. I'm frankly proud of President uh, Biden and Vice President Harris for also delivering on the promises they made to Americans when they first ran. You know, that's what uh, America needs now is authentic, genuine politicians who are going to try to use the power they have to make a difference. It, it, what good is sitting on power if you're not going to use it to help improve people's lives? And that's what my old friend and mentor Paul Wellstone taught many of us many years ago, which is use the power you have when you have it. Well, let's talk for a second about the opposite of improving people's lives. We just saw the Supreme Court roll back progress in last week's rulings from affirmative action to student loan debt forgiveness. How big of a role do you see the high court's rulings playing in the 2024 election? Well, look, let me just uh, say that what we're seeing around the country, both in the Supreme Court and in Republican-held states, Minnesota really is the antidote to what we're seeing, frankly. And while the Republican Party seems hell-bent on making it harder for people to live their lives, it's the Democratic Party. And here in Minnesota, the DFL, that is working to improve people's lives and, and strengthen communities. So, you know, you mentioned the U.S. Supreme Court, of course. Uh, they're making it harder for people to attend and afford college. Well, here in Minnesota, we just made college free to uh, low-wealth households, uh, while the Republican Party continues to cater to big corporations and wealthy individuals. Here in Minnesota, we passed the nation's largest paid family and medical leave law, making sure that no one loses their job if they have to stay home to take care of a sick child or a family member. And, and while the Pub Republican Party continues to cut programs that help families with children, here in Minnesota, we passed the nation's largest tax credit, which will help Minnesota families struggling with the increased costs of raising a family. And so, you know, look, uh, while, of course, we can be fearful of what the Supreme Court and Republicans are doing across the country. There are some bright spots uh, on the horizon, and certainly here in Minnesota, uh, we're showing people that, uh, you know, again, it, it, it pays when you win elections to actually use that power to make the difference. And, you know, we are the antidote to what we're seeing in places like Florida and, and your home state of Texas and other parts of the country where Republicans are, are making it harder for people to live their lives. We're making it easier.